My name is James Beveridge. I am a former student at the New England Center for Children. I was asked to give a speech by uh, Joe Ziska. Oh yeah, I have, I have you. And uh, Roseanne Lovely, where is she? Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right, and I'm excited about telling you about myself. First, I would like to talk to you about what my time at Neck was like. All right, B. Uh, I came to Neck in the year 2000 from Scarsdale, New York. I would live at Francine. I started kindergarten and I lived at Francine Road. Uh, I played in the playground, had birthday parties, and made friends, including Ashley, which I saw her in the video. <laughs> She's uh, 21, <laughs> but she, I'm. I'm sure you guys will be happy to meet her tonight when she comes. Uh, Chris, Jason, Jelly, and more. I felt sad when my mom and dad had to leave me at Francine Road, but uh, I felt glad that I made friends. All right, being a neck introduced me to many new things. I ran in the Special Olympics with my friends from Neck. I felt scared at first, but when I finally got a chance to run, I felt comfortable. I went to Boston Red Sox and Boston Celtics games with Michelle Price. Sorry, she couldn't be here <laughs> for this year's meeting. Um, but I felt worried that the Boston Red Sox were playing the New York Yankees at Fenway Park. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm a Yankee. Uh, <laughs> But at the Boston Celtics games, I was happy to cheer, and uh, I felt excited to be at TD Garden. Though I was at Nick, I also got to visit my mom and dad, who are right there. <laughs> A lot. We sometimes, <laughs> we sometimes spend the night at the Sheraton at Framingham. Uh, we would spend summer vacations up in Maine. In addition, when I went bowling with my friends from Nick, my mom came up with my grandpa. Every year I would come home for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and spent the holidays with my family. I felt happy to be with my family in Scarsdale, New York, and in Maine. All right, when I was eight years old, I moved from my neck dorm to Livy with Rose and Paul Tierney, I, which uh, you guys made it today. Thank you. Uh, there, I got to meet Julia and Kevin, Tierney, Rose and Paul's daughter and son. I loved jumping on the trampoline in her backyard. I went to Finn's school for second grade, and when I have homework, I did it with Rose. Uh, all right, and after Finn's school, I went to Woodward School for third grade. There were more field trips, and I did a field day fun. I like to live with Rose, Paul, Julia, and Kevin, but the time came to move home to Scarsdale. Next, I would like to talk to you about what my time after Neck was like. When I moved home from Neck, I went to Green Acres Elementary School. There I learned how to perform in a course, school course. I took regular class, classes. I did backyard sports thanks to Coach Danny, who made it tonight. <laughs> All right. I felt nervous because I didn't know a lot of kids in Scarsdale until I met new kid, new friends at Green Acres, including Gaia, Kyle, Bimbar, and Eric. And I felt better. Then I went to Scarsdale Middle School where I was asked to play rec football and then was invited to play rec basketball. I also performed in the middle school chorus concert and I did more schoolwork. I participated in a video yearbook and which, then it was off to Scarsdale High School which was an easier transition because I had friends from the rec football team and the rec basketball team. Living at home, I got to know Katie and Charlie with, 
I know you guys made it. <laughs> My siblings and I would play the PlayStation 2 console with them. Every weekend we would eat waffles and pancakes, have a nice conversation about school. I used to call them the little people, but now they are just my brother and sister. <laughs> the hardest accomplishment as a high schooler was, I had was getting my driver's license. I took the written test and failed the first time. I signed up to study online so that the second time I passed. Next came 50 hours of driving with my dad and Steve, my driving instructor. After that, I took the road test and passed. Now I've... Thank you. Thank you, guys. Now every day I drive myself to the high school and I drive safely and I'm very careful. My time at Scarsdale High School has been fun and hard work. At Scarsdale High School, I do modified classwork with my teacher, Mr. Singer, who organizes field trips and other, other community experience. I still play high school football and high school basketball, and I sing in the high school chorus and chamber choir. In addition, I tried the school track and field team, and I participated in senior class Halloween and the Village Haunted House. My proudest community skill high school has taught me was to travel alone. First I have to work hard to earn money, then I have to find the cheapest price and communicate with my mom and dad. I have slept in a hotel by myself in Portland. I have flown back and forth between Portland, Maine and New York and Y. I have coped when my flights get cancelled and like when my flights are on time. I am very proud that I can travel alone. Last but not least, I would like to talk to you about is the future. So what will I do next? I'm trying to choose a post high school program. I take tours of the schools I'm visiting. I, I'm considering. I have to find out what classes I can take and what kinds of sports I can play. Are there dorms? It is kind of exciting and scary to think about. I hope my time at the next school is helping me become more independent, just like Nick, Nick did. Thank you very much, and here are all five pictures I added. <laughs> as, you, as you can see, there's, uh, there's uh, me at the science fair at Nick where I was doing everything that's made of matter. <laughs> There's me at NEC with Mr. Strawley receiving my NEC diploma after graduation. There's me receiving my uh, special Olymp gold medal at the Special Olympics. And there's me with Katie and Charlie in the truck up in Maine. Last but not least, there is a picture of me in my Scarsdale football uniform. Questions? <laughs> Any questions? questions? No? Thank you, Dave. All right. Thank you very much. Now I'll turn it over to Joe Siska.